This video is sponsored by the McDonald's $6 classic meal deal, because you can't get much for 6 bucks these days. Unless you're in Belarus. Ben has often accused others of being scammers in his videos. Poor people overcharging him a few cents for a soft drink are given a hard time. Ben even falsely accused a boy in India of committing a scam selling socks. He was later caught out by viewers when it was revealed the boy selling socks had not shortchanged him at all, but rather Benjamin Rich had hidden a pair of socks in his pants to make a false allegation. Of course he says it was a joke but he never revealed it to Harold nor the public. The story only came out when viewers noticed the dishonesty. Anyway this is particularly egregious when we discover that Benjamin himself is a confessed fraud and scammer. He admits under his alias Vakuta that he deliberately defrauded £30,000 from a British bank. Ben writes, Don't know how it works stateside, but I owed £30,000 on credit cards and bank loans here in the UK about 5 years back. There was no way I could pay it back. I decided to change my surname to my mother's maiden name and change the dress and I never heard from them again. In fact, I opened a new account in the same bank I owed thousands to. Different branch obviously. A couple weeks later with my new name and address and was offered new credit cards and overdraft immediately. I'm not saying my way is what you should do but if you're struggling with big debts and the pressure of paying them back then it's an option. I don't regret it. So Ben Rich effectively committed a £30,000 fraud and went on a forum to encourage others to do the same. He says he doesn't recommend it, but goes on in the same breath to say he doesn't regret it and that it's an option. So now we can add thief to his many crimes. And since making a mint from his YouTube channel, he still has not paid back a dime. This is also the reason he changed his name from Benjamin Rich Swift to Benjamin Rich. But what do you guys think? Is it okay to steal as long as you get away with it, and not pay back the money you owe even when you earn 40 to 60 thousand a month from YouTube? Or is being a thief wrong? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Jbolkey for now.